it's Ailish here. So today I thought I would do a top five favorite foundations which are all natural and organic. And a couple of you have asked what I use and if you've watched my videos for a little bit then you'll know one of my favorites or maybe two of them. Um, but I just thought I would include some more so you can go and check out those options as well. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it would absolutely make my day. And if you would like a free printable which tells you the top 20 makeup products which are natural and organic that you need in your makeup bag then just click the link below and you'll be able to get that too. So let's get started. So the first product is an absolute firm favourite. This is the Jane Iredale Glow Time Full Coverage Mineral BB Cream. It is not a BB cream, it is a full coverage foundation. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I use it on basically all of my tutorials on here just because it's so good. Um, it gives really, really full coverage. It's cream and it goes on so nicely. It buffs in really well. I think Dior Show was its rival back a few years ago when I was using that and wasn't using natural organic makeup. And if you remember that, it was a full coverage, block your face out and build everything back in again. Um, and this is basically the same but better because it's natural. Um, I absolutely adore it. I have the colour BB7 on now, which is this one. Um, so that's when I've got a bit of a like kind of suntan. And then um, the BB5 I use for when it's winter and then I mix in between because I couldn't get BB6. Um, but I know that they do it in America. So um, yes, Jane Iredale, love it, love the whole line you should definitely check it out. The next one is another firm favourite. These are the RMS um, Uncover Ups. Now I have Light 11 and um, number 22. And Light 11 I sometimes use concealer or in the winter and then 22 I use when I've got a bit more of a tan. And you can use these as a concealer or you can use them as foundation. They are cream based. Um, they do actually last quite a long time despite the size of them. Um, and you can get them most places. The coverage is a little bit lighter than the Jane Idale um, foundation, but it's just, it's still really, really good coverage. They feel amazing and like the base is like coconut oil, I think. And I just absolutely adore them. So you should definitely check these out. Back to a liquid foundation. This is 100% pure super fruits, healthy foundation. And this is the color white peach. Now this is very light for me at the moment. Um, it's probably a winter foundation. It's a little bit too light. I did a tutorial with it last week, I think it was, and it made me look <laughs> really, really pale. But basically it's a winter foundation for me. Um, it gives really good coverage. Um, I quite like it. It doesn't sit on my skin that amazingly. Um, I prefer the Jane Idel one way more. Um, I think sometimes when your skin's a bit dry, this isn't the best to use. You need something um, a little bit more nourishing, but I've heard so many bloggers rave about this who absolutely love it above everything else. So I think it's just your personal preference really. So um, yeah, definitely check this one out too and see what you think. My fourth foundation is a powder. This is the Anika Mineral Foundation in 04 Nurture. This is lovely. I actually use this to set my Jane Iredale foundation because sometimes it can kind of slide over your face occasionally. But um, this is lovely on its own as well. Or if you wanted a tinted moisturizer, then mix a little bit of this with your moisturizer and put it on your face and it looks lovely too. So um, it's kind of a multitasker and I absolutely adore it. The coverage is really, really lovely. It's quite light, I think. And I'm quite a fan of like a full on makeup look. So, um, I'm full on coverage. So, um, yeah, this is lovely as kind of a setter for me. Um, I really, really like it. It's a really lovely brand and they do some gorgeous stuff. So, yeah, definitely check in Nicker out. The final powder foundation that I love is the Antipodes. Um, this is the Performance Plus Minerals Light Yellow, which is 02. Um, I really like this. Again, it's quite similar to the Anika, which it gives quite sheer coverage, but it's really lovely and it feels really luminescent. And they also have the translucent finishing powder too, which I really like because once your powder set, it gives like that glow across your face and 
you know, we're all about that right here. Um, so I really like these foundations, so definitely check those out. They are, they are on the lighter side of the coverage if you prefer that, so then, um, so do check them out. Um, but yeah, they're a lovely brand. Um, and then, I know I've done five, but there's a final one, but I don't have the product because I've actually finished it and thrown it out. And it is the Living Nature fa liquid foundation that they have. Um, definitely check that out too. Um, it's quite different to, say, a normal foundation if you're just transitioning. It sets a lot quicker, so you need to warm up your hands and put it across your face as well, um, or blend it into your face. So um, do check that one out too, and that's just a little added extra. Um, if you did like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it would absolutely make my day. And I will see you again on the next video.